Oh yeah, the car arrived. Oh, so pretty. Good morning everyone. Now, I've had such an amazing past few days. I recently received a product that I kickstarted. Just to be clear, I am not sponsored for doing this video. It's just a product that I had to try and if you are a hub motor purist like me, chances are this is the only option of its kind. Marlon Loves Wheels are these sleeves that slip over existing skateboard wheels. Specifically, very useful for hub motors. They were part of a Kickstarter campaign that I supported and believed in. Simply put, they're aimed at people like me with hub motors. In the box I received a bunch of merch, stickers, a business card, a thank you note and um, a badge. But unfortunately, no instructions as to how to fit the hub sleeves on the motors themselves. In terms of installing them, it wasn't as straightforward as I had hoped, but um, you know that's to be expected with most new products like this. It's kind of funny actually, the way in which you get them on. Um, you have to put them in a pan of boiling water from your kettle, put a plastic bag over it, put the wheels in on top of the plastic bag and water, and leave them there for exactly three minutes. Not five minutes, as they will be too cold, and not one minute, as, well, it won't be warm enough. Somebody did try this approach using um, a temperature gauge, and uh, but I don't have one of those, so I just had to time it. Don't worry about the wheels being too warm, that doesn't happen. They're just kind of warm to the touch. They, they won't burn you or anything, um, but it makes the material more malleable in order to slip them over the wheels. One thing that really, really helps in terms of putting these on the wheels is if you've actually cleaned the base wheels first. And as you probably know, hub motors tend to get very dry, so that makes this a lot more difficult than it needs to be. The wheels I specifically had were called the Tora Ground Eaters, and they're aimed at the more off-roading stuff, which is great, um, and I got some good results out of them on the first try on some wet grass. Just remember when you are putting these wheels on that you have the tread pattern facing forwards like an arrow towards the front of your board. Um, this is something that we see with bicycles and motorcycle tyres, the rotational direction. Um, there's no arrows on this, so it's something you might not be aware of. And then there's sort of like the big nitpick with this. It's, um, well, on the wheels they have these protruding lips, right? And I was told that they have to face away from the board, but the easiest way to install them is by having the protruding lip facing towards the deck, which makes them go on in seconds. But if you do it the other way, it can be way more difficult than it needs to be. In terms of putting them on, it's a bit like doing CPR, just push make sure you are wearing gloves though of course um, in my case your palms can get very sore from doing this um, if you've got skin conditions and it does help to wear gloves as you've got more grip on the wheel as for the final bit um, you can use a tie lever to just go around the circumference of the wheel the wider standard bicycle tie levers will be better in terms of removing the sleeve itself it really, really helps if you have a bicycle tyre lever, and I can't stress that enough. In terms of wheel clearance, because these are 125mm wheels, you will probably need two half inch riser pads in order to get that wheel clearance and not get wheel bite. Likewise, some M5 50mm bolts because of the two riser pads. You might not need any riser pads if you have a particular deck shape. In my case, it's sort of like, you know, cruiser, long boards. So wheel bite happens. Shout out to one man band who had a wonderful idea about heating up the wheels that significantly helped me with mine.
I did try a few different methods to make it easier to put the wheels on the correct side facing down. Um, unfortunately, you know, nothing worked. I tried heating it up with a hairdryer. I tried cutting into the sidewall to see if that made any difference. Um, but no, the one side seems to be a lot tougher, even though that's the side that's supposed to slip on. Um, it could just have been my batch because I had a particular colour. But, um, you know, it is what it is. At least I've got the wheels on. So yeah, there's my first impressions of Marlon Loves Wheels and their Tora Ground Eaters. So next video I'll be doing a proper review with some actual field tests and footage of my findings. But um, it's been quite promising. I've been out for about 10-15 minutes so far and um, I really, really like them.